The sea hunters are blessed with perfect weather. They soon have their mooring reconnected to the wreck of Empire Kingfisher. Vince has the ROV up and running and in fine form. OK, Vince, she's in. Now, what I'm going to need from you, Mike, is left or right. I want to head out in that direction. Looking good, Vince. Yes. Excellent heading. 20 feet off the boat. And whenever you want to dive. Within minutes of the launch, using its onboard sonar, Vince powers the ROV directly onto the wreck. Water is clear, and there is practically no current. As the sea hunters settle in around the TV monitor, the machine sends up great images of a steel wreck that has obviously been cut open and had its insides pulled apart. Look at that structure, Mike. Yeah. Now I see a line there. What is that? Man and machine are in perfect unison. But what is that just above? It's almost circular. Vince is able to fly around the site as if it were sitting in an open field. The wreck is a tangled mess of twisted steel with very little of the hull structure left intact. It would be extremely difficult to find evidence of what had put the ship on the bottom. If it had been a torpedo hit, how could they ever tell? As Vince flies the ROV over a mass of broken deck, there's a huge pile of cargo. It's ammunition, what looks like thousands of rounds, a variety of big shells and bombs, each the size of a man's leg. And most of them appear to be intact. It reminds me of a story that Roy had told me about their biggest fear when salvaging these war wrecks. There were vast amounts of explosives right through the ship, bombs, shells, all with their detonators in them, ready-use ammunition of all sorts of types. We were very concerned about the explosives in the ship. We um, caused us what they call a sympathetic detonation. What we had done was accidentally detonating the munition, part of the munitions cargo on the wreck. We probably caused a charge with 100 tons of explosives, and the result was quite dramatic. Maybe there had been a similar explosion here while this wreck was being salvaged and not all the ammunition had exploded. Do you think that's the bow, Jim? Look at it standing up there. Well, look at the way it's coming up, yeah. And then see that curve? Yeah. Hard to say, I mean, um, with this much damage, you know, we, I think we're gonna have to come around it to take a really good hard look. Not enough control. She's on our side and I don't know why. Just when we thought we were invincible, the ROV came to a stop. 